Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy JR here back with another video, man. It's gonna seem like I did like three intros in this video, but um from this part of the video, man, we're gonna go into like this uh kind of like instructional thing that I did on Photoshop for y'all to understand what I was talking about inside of the game. Um, but I just kind of wanted to get that out of the way. Uh, but if you guys are here, man, make sure to hit that like button, make sure to hit that subscribe button, man. I'm gonna be trying to make these videos as detailed as possible. So sometimes I'm going to fumble my words. I'm just going to not, you know, make sense at times. But hopefully y'all hang in there with me. Um, but yeah, man, from right here, we're going to jump into the uh, Photoshop part. Where I'm going to show y'all kind of like a little K-Zone. And then I'm going to, you know, do some things there. And then from there, we're going to go into the gameplay. Um, so honestly, y'all could click off right after the K-Zone stuff. Because I literally go over everything there. Um, but if you guys want to actually see the gameplay, y'all can stick around for the whole video. It's going to be about a 30 to 40 minute video. Uh, but hopefully you guys enjoy. And uh, yeah, let's just uh, jump into it. Throughout the video, I'm going to be talking about how I'm going to go into custom practice and kind of show you all what the approach is. I'm just going to go ahead and do this right here. Um, I think this is the best way I can do it for you all. I have a K zone up for you all, and then I have the pitches that uh, how Newhouser has. So throughout the video, I'm going to be saying how I'm going to be sitting up and outside. What I mean by that is I'm going to be sitting somewhere in this three zone right here. Somewhere in that zone, maybe like half of the two zone and the three zone. That's where I'm looking at. Doesn't mean I'm placing my PCI there. It just means that's where I'm looking for a fastball at. Um, that's where I'm going to be starting my eyes at pretty much. Um, from that point on, so I'm looking there and then I'm going to be tracking from here. Uh, he has a slider change of sweeping curve, correct? So I'm going to, if it's not the fastball, I'm going to track down into six, looking for a change up, um, down into five, looking for a change up, maybe down all the way even into nine, looking for a change up. And then from that point on, it's a slider sweeping curve. So it's going to be either a sweeping curve that's going to fall this way into seven. It's going to be a slider that falls into four like this. You know, sometimes he could even throw the slider that falls into one like that. Um, from that point on, so literally we're just tracking this way. As y'all can see, we're just going this way, that way. Pretty much everywhere, everything we're tracking is like a backward C. And I'm going to be saying this throughout the video a lot um let's go back Ooh, wrong one right here so that's my approach from a righty hitter against newhauser from a lefty hitter it's kind of the same thing we're going to be sitting the fastball somewhere here three and six we're going to be sitting the fastball on this part of the zone from there on we're just going to you know track the slider to number seven to number eight depending on where he leaves it four to five two to one th that's the slider change up he could you know he could go down low um he could go change up on seven from that point we're gonna have to track all the way over here uh, but that's a pitch you're not gonna really want to be swinging at really like it's a pitch you're gonna want to let go if he throws it there um and and yeah and then fastball if he throws a fastball outside man then you're gonna want to start tracking from here to over here and and yeah so i hope ho y'all get that approach right there um but in this video we notice i think it was this one we notice that our opponent is actually throwing a lot of fastballs inside right here he's throwing a lot of fastballs in th this part of the zone therefore our previous approach when starting the game which was to look outside track inside was kind of being overpowered by that fastball down inside so we had to change our approach. This happened around the fourth or fifth inning. Y'all will see. I will talk about it in the game. I just want to put this out for y'all. Um, I changed from looking from the fastball up here to looking for the fastball here. And I know who the fuck is going to throw a fastball down the middle. It's not really about them throwing the fastball. It's just kind of where you want to start your eyes, right? So we're looking for the fastball here, and then we're tracking inside. So it's easier when he throws that fastball here for me to get from here to here than from here to over here, right? And this is all my eyes. This is not even PCI. Like, this could be your eyes. This can be the PCI. It's just your approach. So that's what happened in that, I believe it was the fourth or fifth inning. Uh, so yeah, just 
keep an eye out for that. I just kind of wanted to put it as a visual for y'all, a little bit easier. Um, but hopefully you guys understand. Um, let me know if you guys like something like this and let me know what I have to change to make it maybe more understandable for you guys. Um, I don't really, I think this was the best way for me to show it to y'all. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the video and let's uh, let's dive into it. Oh shit, okay, here we go. Here we go. We finally got one. Oh, okay. All right. We've been looking for a game against Hal for a while now, and here we go. We got it. We got it. Oh, did I fuck up my... All right, let's do it. Hopefully everything's in sync. Hopefully nothing's wrong with this recording. Because it took us a while to find a game against Hal Newhauser. But here we go, man. Here we go. I'm sorry, bud. I've been looking for a game against Hal for a minute now. The right fielder, Chris mm. Let's do it inside the mine. Here we go, man. Y'all already know how I like to pitch with Kluver and the sinker. We, we like to go up and away. Just establish something. We're going to go with the cutter inside here. See if we jam him. Just change it up a little bit. Oh, no. It worked out. We threw an accidental dot right there. Here we go again, sinker. I just got to establish and see if he can hit the sinker. Nothing there. Let's throw this cutter away. See if we can get him to pull off. He does pull off. He gets lucky and gets to hit in between short and third. All good, though. Let's see. Let's see. Brings up Soto. Sinker up and away. There we go. So he's late on it. Let's go ahead and throw it again. All right, let's go with the cutter down and in here. Okay, sink her up and away again. Nope. Okay, haven't shown him the slurve here. We're going to throw it down and inside, see how he reacts. Got him. All right. He's of Carrera. So, so far, so good. He's been falling into my pitches. So, that's a good sign. Um, we're just going to keep pitching the same way. Just kind of setting him up. Sinker inside. There we go. He's late, so he's thinking about it now. Uh, we can honestly go back to it. I doubt he'll square it up. He doesn't square it up. We jam him, and that's going to be the out to second base. Okay, so let's go hit. So, let's go hit. So, here we go. How new, Hauser? Um, I might have already talked about this before the video. I might make like a little segment on uh, custom practice and just talk to y'all how I like to hit. But if I did it, so I'm going to be looking for fastball up and away. Goes fastball low. I'm going to be looking for fastball up and away and then working my way inside. Goes fastball inside. Here we go. 1-1 one, one count. Still same approach here. Goes with the slider, we just miss it. Uh, he throws us a sweeping curve down low. We chop it to third base, but I, I hope y'all see what I'm working at. So it's easier to track that sweeping curve and that slider if I start up and away, if I'm looking for something up and away. So that's what I like to do with my righties. Ooh, he throws that fastball outside. We're just a little bit late. We had the PCI placement there. Change up outside. 1-1 one, one count. You do want to be working the counts against Newhauser too. I mean, you don't want him in there for too long. He goes fastball up and inside. 2-1 count. He goes fastball down and in. Okay. Just got to be alert. Okay, slider down. 3-2 count here. I'm thinking fastball. He hasn't thrown a strike with any of his other pitches. He does, and he goes up and away, and we just miss it, man. That's what we're looking for, and we just missed it. That's just bad hitting on our part. I don't know. Like, I didn't trust myself. I said fastball, and I was absolutely correct, and I just didn't trust my gut. 
All right, so here we go. Lefty on lefty, man. I'm sitting inside. Strictly sitting inside and working out. Ah, that's just bad. Bad hitting right there. <laughs> Got to get it together here. One ball, two strikes. One, two count. I'm just fighting pitches off here. Ball inside. Go to two. We tried to check our check our swing, but for some reason, man, I'm just not good at checking my swing. I'm just not. All right, here we go. Let's get back to pitching. Same shit. We get him to chase this. Can Buster Posey make the play? Of course he's not. Gets a lucky ass hit. Nothing we can do about it. Let's move on. He's a Diddy. We're gonna try to jam him here. Sinker up in a way. Ball, that's out. All right, let's go back to that slurve down and inside. We got to get it down. We got to get that pitch a little bit down. More down than that. We hung that one. We got lucky, but it's not where I wanted it. Go sinker up and away. Let's try a cutter inside again. So right now, our pitch sequences are really working. So against lefties, we're going sinker up and away, cutter inside, slurve inside. It just seems to be working against them, so I'm just going to keep hitting those pitches. There we go. And once you count, we're going to go with the slurve down and away. Doesn't chase. All right, we're going to throw something different here. We're going to go with the sinker up and in just because we haven't shown him that. Oh, bad pitch. Bad pitch, bad pitch, and he took advantage of it. Uh, he might score here if we're not quick with it. Oh, we were pretty quick with it, though. Oh, perfect throw home. <sighs> that little leap. The leap Craig Biggio did there. Fucked us. We could have had him at home there. Let's go sinker inside. We, we need a jam to get him to pop it up. Oh, we're going to go home there. Save the run. Yep. Right there, we were trying to get a pop-up. We are trying to jam him, up, jam him inside and get a pop-up so that run wouldn't score. We got the ground ball to third, and he went, so that worked out well. All right, so right here, we're against the pitcher. We need to get this out for sure. Don't want to go to the top of his lineup. He's taking a lead at first here. I might just pick him off. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what he was doing there. All right, but we're down one. We got Sheffield, Jackson, and Trout coming up. So Sheffield, we're going to be working, you know, same, same approach. Up and away, working our way inside. Doing kind of like a backwards L. Backwards C, I guess. Nah, more like a backwards L because we're looking here and we're going down there. There we go. We turn on that one, but we're just a little bit too early. So right now our timing is off. I feel like the approach can work, but the, the timing is off right now. We just got to gotta get it together. Oh, change up, man. We got to take advantage of those. We're a little bit on top of it early. Damn, now we're below the fastball. So, yeah, right now we're like, we're not having our placement and our timing together. So, I think, I feel like we just have to slow it down a little bit. I feel like I'm a little too antsy on the fastball, even though I was late there. But I just got to maybe look. Look for something else here. Here we go. Fastball 1 0. Yep, he goes up high though. TO count. He doesn't like to fall behind and he usually doesn't throw a off speed for a strike. So I'm thinking fastball again here. He might try to mix it up and go with the two seam now. But I really do think this is going to be a fastball. He's pausing it here. I might cut this part and just cut to where he unpauses. So he did go with the two seam down. All right, two one count. He might go with another fastball. He doesn't, he goes with the sweeping curve, three one. 
Again, I'm looking up here. Fastball. Doesn't go with the fastball. Goes with the slider, but he leaves it over the middle of the plate. We're just going to kind of sit on it and hit it up the middle. So right there, since I was looking for the fastball, I immediately realized it wasn't. So I just kind of tracked that ball towards the inside. And he left it right down the middle, so it was kind of easy. Oh, right there, I wasn't ready, but that was the fastball we needed. Right, here we go. Ah, he... Damn it, man. We had the placement. We're just a little too late. Let's fastball up. We're very early. We just got to slow down a little bit. There we go. He hangs that change up down the middle of the zone. Mike Trout turns on it. It's not going to leave the field, but we should tie the game up here. All right, but there we go. So he hung that change up since we were still looking up and away. It wasn't the fastball. Like, you can immediately tell if it's not the fastball because it's not coming in fast. You can tell there's, like, a little loop on it. If it's changeup, maybe, like, a curveball. Um, but we were able to read it, and we just kind of tracked it down a little bit and hit it to left field. Ooh, right there. It went a little bit too low. Here we go. Here we're just fighting. We're still, we're still having our same approach, but we're not really sitting on the fastball anymore. Ah, he got us there. Good pitch. We're way too early. Brings up Posey. Got to do some damage here. Got to do some damage here with Posey. Hopefully he doesn't walk us here. 2-0 count. If I was him, I would just intentionally walk, but I don't know if he's smart enough. 3-0 count. We're, we're green lighting this. Green lighting this. Ah, bro. We hit it pretty hard, but it's going to be right at the shortstop. He left the slider down the middle. We kind of missed it. We were on top, but brings up her uh, Newhauser here too. So we should get a free out. Let's go with the cutter inside. But hopefully, y'all understand what I'm trying to say uh, with how Newhauser. I think before the video, this video might be long. Like it might get pretty long. Hopefully, it doesn't go past an hour. But I might. Um, we get the strike out there. I might do like a little thing on, in custom practice where uh, I just kind of show y'all what my approach is, both right, both against righties and both against lefties. I mean, having righty hitters and then having lefty hitters. All right, O2 count here. Um, we've been throwing a lot of cutters and sinkers, so I'm thinking to change it down low. Doesn't chase. It wasn't the best change up either, though. He likes to pause the game a lot. All right. Let's go sinker up and out here. Doesn't chase. We haven't thrown the best pitches on 0-2 and 1-2. We're going to go with the slurp inside. There we go. Got him. All right. But right now, pitching-wise, we're still doing the same thing. We're doing fast pitches on early count and then just going with the slow. So kind of pitching him normally. Just trying to locate inside with the sinker right there we missed. But until he turns on one, I'm going to keep throwing it. He hasn't turned on his sinker inside yet, so we're still going to use that sinker a lot to set him up for other pitches. It's going to bring up Kluver. We're just going to take the first two pitches here with Kluver. For the first two strikes, I mean. And then just wait. Right there, we get a free pitch. Goes his two seam. Just trying to get his pitch count up here. No reason for me to try to swing on a... There we go, one, two. So now we're just going to fight. Honestly, I'm going to use a contact swing here. We're just trying to fight off pitches. And right there, we hit a little weak line drive for first base. But four pitch at bat for a pitcher. I'll take that. Brings up Biggio here. Same approach. Up and out. He throws us a curveball. We're able to track it. We hit it pretty good, but it's going to be a line out to left field. So I'm literally just tracking from his hand, tracking it inside, man. That's all I'm doing right now. I'm going from here to there. Here to there. If he goes inside, we just go from here to there. Let 
Goes with the two seam outside. Go slider inside. And remember, that doesn't mean I'm starting my PCI there. I'm just kind of starting my uh, my eyes there. Goes fastball inside. So I'm kind of like starting here and then working away. And he goes fastball down the middle. I don't know what I was thinking there. Just kind of froze me. I didn't think he was going to throw three three fastballs in a row. So I just kind of, I don't know. Bad hitting. But here we go. I'm going to keep going. That was just a terrible pitch, man. He hasn't been able to hit the sinker when we located. Once we leave it down the middle, man, anybody can hit that pitch. Anybody can hit that pitch, man, and he didn't miss it. All right, you got to go back to that sinker inside. We're not going to shy away from it just because he hit it once when it was down the middle. <sighs> All right, finally. All right, we get him to ground that one to shortstop. First out. Boom, 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 boom. Right now, man, we just got to locate. We just got to locate. Because only two runs have come on bad pitches from me. You know, pitches right down the middle. If we can eliminate those, we should have success. He chases that sinker up in a way. He's early. So he's starting to be early now on pitches, if y'all have noticed. Um, at first, he was late on that sinker up in a way. Now he's being early. That tells me he's expecting it. So... Maybe from now on, we're going to start um, pitching him differently. Right there, he's early. Yeah. He's starting to sit on a sinker and cutter. So we're going to start pitching him backwards now. There we go. Now I got him thinking about the off speed. So he's like, oh, two, no way he throws a sinker, right? We're going to throw that. Unfortunately, we missed with their spot, but now we go back to that slurve down and in. We missed with it, man. We got to get it inside. But there, he kind of sat back. But he was still very early. I want to see how he reacts to the sinker up and away on a 1-2 count. All right, so he hits a ground ball. All right, but yeah, we might start pitching him backwards now just to get him off of uh sitting on the sinker but here we go lefty on lefty same thing we're still tracking the same way ah he goes two seam right there that two seam is very good from uh how new hazard man it's like a sinker it's like a slow sinker right there he throws a, a sweeping curve man we we i mean we make some pretty good contact we just don't find the hole we're a little on top of it, but we made good enough contact to possibly get a hit. Ah, man, we just got to sit back. He's, he's starting to throw that two seam a lot, and usually that's what gives me fits when I hit uh, Newhauser. Is that two seam? Because it's, it's, it's a whole different timing than the four seam. E man, those are the pitches we got to hit, dude. There we go. He finally made a mistake. We finally punished him for it. Right there, we were still sitting outside. It wasn't quite up and outside, but it was outside enough to where I can just make the slide adjustment with my PCI, and that's going to give us the uh, the home run. Just got to punish him for his mistakes. There, that's going to be a fair ball. We turn on that two-seam inside. All right, here we go. We're starting to uh, hit him better now. Gonna start to lose control. He's gonna start making uh, some bad pitches. 2 0 count here with Trout. We're sitting the fastball. Ah, we missed it though. We missed it. We missed it. Ooh, change up. We had the placement, but our timing was so early there. 
Okay, 3-2 count here to Trout. Same approach. Goes with the fastball down and in. So as y'all can see, there's a flaw to this method. When your opponent starts hitting that down and inside, man, you just got to be really good at tracking. So I feel like he's starting to notice that we might have to change our approach. We might have to change our approach if he starts noticing that. But we're not quite yet going to change it. We're not quite yet going to change it. Ah, see, that's a pitch we got to take advantage of, though. We're not. 3-2 count. We're going to send the runner here. There we go. We turn on that sweeping curve. We squared it up, but, you know, another line out. We've had three line outs in this game already on good squared up balls. It happens, but as y'all can see, it's hard to hit that down and in pitch whenever you're using this approach. But that's okay. As long as your opponent doesn't notice you're in that approach, if he doesn't hit that spot consistently, you don't have to worry about it. Once they start to hit it consistently and they notice and they keep throwing it and throwing it, then that's when you have to change your approach. But as of right now, we're not going to change it. We're going to stick to it. If we maybe strike out from it again, uh, or maybe I don't react to it again, because right there, I mean, I can I can make contact with that pitch with this approach for sure. I just got to have the, the reaction to do it. I just didn't. I didn't react to the pitch fast enough for me to even swing on that one. We just got to get better at it. Right here, 2 -0 count. That first that bat he turned on that, uh, I think, I believe it was a cutter that he turned on. So definitely got to pitch him backwards. He's being very early on slurves. So right there, we hang one. He doesn't really get the best contact. Second out. But yeah, this is a much closer game than our first inside the mind video. But that's that's okay because I mean you're not gonna with this approach. It doesn't mean you're gonna completely destroy how Newhauser. You're gonna score 20 runs. Like this is just a good approach to have against them to you know get some good squared ups and hope for the best. Because I mean y'all know how this game is sometimes. All right, we're not trying to walk Newhauser here. We're just going to go with the sinker up and away. Good pitch. Got him. All right. All right, but back to it, man. I feel like we've been doing We have four hits, and we've been scoring up. We could definitely have a lot more hits than that. We're just going to stick to it. All right, but, but y'all see, he's starting to throw it a lot more now. So we might have to change it. Yeah, he's starting to pound that inside and in now. So now, instead of going up here, I'm just going to kind of look middle. I'm going to kind of look middle, expect maybe like a fastball down the middle, and then react from there instead of looking for up and away. One ball, two strikes. There we go. He hangs that change up. Perfect, perfect. Out of here. I'm telling you, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta change as you see your opponent and see his tendencies. So at first he was pitching up high, but then after that last inning, I noticed that he was throwing everything low, everything low, everything low. So instead of starting up high, we're just gonna start in the middle and look for something down low and just sit on it. Right there, oh two. I don't know why I chased that first pitch. It should be a one-one count. Ooh, right there. We're just fighting. We actually had perfect PCI placement. We're just like... Just fighting here, fighting. Ah, good pitch. Thought it was a fastball. All right, here we go, Biggio. Same thing again. Now we're sitting down here. Ooh, we turn on that one. Just a little early. PCI placement wasn't quite there, but... Just gotta, gotta sit back a little bit more. Yeah, y'all see, he hasn't really thrown a high fastball yet. Ah, we're late, we're late. PCI placement's not there either. Gotta adjust. 
There we go. There we go. He leaves another fastball. Perfect, perfect there. Like I said, you just got to change your approach and see how it goes. Here we go. He's starting to throw more fastballs. He's throwing them inside. Yeah. I feel like he's starting to get frustrated. Nothing but fastball so far. He's thrown three in a row. He got me there. He just completely got me. I don't know what we were looking at those first two pitches. I just kind of wanted to see what he was trying to do. It was with the slider. O2 count here. I feel like he's just going to come right at us. No. Two two count. I feel like he goes fastball now. He doesn't. Damn man, he went five straight sliders. So it's like he commits to one pitch. He's just committing to one pitch. I mean, he threw like four fastballs in a row. Then he threw five sliders in a row. So he's just committing to a pitch. Got to keep that noted for maybe next time we fall into a count like that. But so, I mean, that inning, it went pretty well other than those last two strikeouts. I mean, not what you want, but that posy at bat, it really, our change of approach really helped us out there. Um, instead of looking up and away, we kind of changed it and just kind of looked middle, middle in a way. Um, and that helped us adjust to that change up down low where we got the, um, the home run. Ah, bad pitch. Bad pitch, man. I don't know what I'm doing there. 0-2 count. Should not even be near the zone there. I feel like I'm getting a little distracted pitching. Let's go with this cutter away. See if he rolls it. Oh, good pitch. Yep. Got to pitch him backwards. Remember that. He's stealing here. If we make the throw. <sighs> man, we let him. We made that way too easy for him. We're going to throw the sinker inside just to kind of keep him off of a... He's bunning. He's bunning on an 0-2 count. Not the smartest move there. All right, Soto, we're still pitching backwards. Get him to chase. Yeah, he's strictly sitting on fast pitches on early counts. Bad pitch. Bad pitch. Not leave that there. All right. We're going to go with this fast spot up. We got to keep it really up, though. Doesn't chase, but that now that allows me to throw anything really. We can go with the change up low, slurve low in the inside, sinker up and outside. I think that's where we're gonna go. Okay, all good. Now we can go with a cutter. We're gonna throw a dot here. We haven't thrown a dot in a while. Ah, we don't quite get the call. We don't quite get it to the corner. All right, but three two. We're gonna go with the slurve. Ah, good pitch. He was early. All right, cutter inside. Got him. All right. So on 3-2 right there, I was just not trying to throw a sinker or a fastball. That was the only thing I wasn't going to throw in that at-bat. Um, I kind of, you know, the way he's been hitting, he's taking a lead at second base here. We're not really holding him on, but I'm going to go ahead and hold him on just so he doesn't get that lead. Go with this cutter away, see if he rolls it. Doesn't quite roll it. He was actually late. No, he was good timing, but he dropped his PCI. Uh, I actually shouldn't throw this again, but we're going to throw it really far outside. Doesn't chase it. All right, 1-1. One, one. I feel like he, he's probably not going to be sitting on it. He might be expecting it, but let's see. No, not a great pitch either. We're going to go ahead and throw it again. If he turns on it, he turns on it. It's still very hard to square up. No. Okay, bad pitch. We got lucky, though. Let's go. But he was very late on that. I think we're going to throw it again. He's stealing, too, but we got him. We froze him. Yeah, when I saw him be very late on that 1-1, one, one, uh, what was it, a 2-2 two, two sinker inside? I thought maybe I could get him again with it, so I went ahead and threw it. And then we threw a pretty nice dot. 
Here we go, man. Gary Sheffield. Ah, dang. Dang, dang, dang. We moved our PC out of the way and we were late. That's the pitch we're looking for. But there we go. I was kind of expecting the fastball there. Remember when I said last inning that he kind of commits to a pitch once it works for him? He did it again. He did it again. Once the pitch works for him, he kind of keeps throwing it, you know? So I'm going to... If, if a pitch works for him, I'm going to sit it the very next pitch. Right there, we're going to hit that one up the middle. He's not going to get to it. We're going to send him home here. There we go. We scored. We were kind of off. We had the good timing on that fastball. Um, but we did just enough to get that run in. And I think that might be it for Howe Newhauser. Yep, that's going to be it. That's going to be it for Howe Newhauser. So, overall, we didn't do too bad against Howe Newhauser. We got eight hits with four runs on a legend game. That's definitely not bad at all. Um, we could definitely, we could have definitely scored some more runs. We had a couple of good squared ups that were outs that could have definitely been either a home run or a hit. Um, but yeah, overall we did pretty good. Uh, hopefully y'all kind of understood what my approach was against him. Looking outside, tracking inside. Because he has the slider, he has the sweeping curve. So you just kind of want to track those pitches. If it's not that, it's either the change up. So you track it low and against really good opponents, they're gonna be using the two seam more. Um, but hopefully I explain all of this before we get into the video, like before this video actually started, I hope I will do like a custom practice video of it. All right guys, but nothing really happened after he took out Newhauser. Uh, we kind of struggled hitting wise. So I'm just gonna show you guys the last three outs of this game right here. Actually, why the fuck am I pitching to Buster Posey with John Franco, please get to this. I don't know why I dove there. There was no reason to dive. Not a great start to this inning right here. I mean, it was bad from the get-go. We should have not been pitching to Posey with Franco there. Works out because now Soto's up, but here we go. Then we throw a really bad sinker there. He's not going to go home there, luckily. We get really lucky there. He hits that one really hard, but we get the first out. Now Cabrera's up. We're going to go ahead and bring in Ottavino here. He's going to bring in a lefty. He has McCovey on the bench, so not too bad. I'm going to go with this cutter inside, see if it jams him. Got to be careful here. Got to be really careful that he doesn't turn on it. He has Mini Minoso up next, too. Okay, he chases that cutter outside. Let's go with this slider down and in, man. See if he's over it. Good pitch. Got him. There we go. There we go. Made it look like the cutter. He got the out. All right, we're going to see if we can get him to roll over. This cutter from Ottavino, man, is just a great pitch. You got to be able to locate it, though. Got to locate it outside. So right there, very early, squared up. We're going to go with the slider away. Ooh, not a bad pitch at all. Good layoff by him. We're going to throw... We're going to throw this two-seam inside. Ah, bad pitch. All right, but at least now I got him thinking about it. Let's throw it. Let's throw this cutter up and outside. Oh, he was very early, bro. It worked out perfectly, just how we wanted, but he made some contact. We could have gotten that pitch outside, too. We're going to throw it again. Doesn't chase. Threw it a little bit too far outside, but I'm not scared to throw it again, though. It's a very hard pitch to square up. He squares it up. We get lucky, though. It goes foul. We didn't get that pitch outside enough. That was right down the middle. Um... All right, 3-2 count. We haven't really thrown fastballs to him. Let's throw it, see if he times it up. He was late. Um, 3-2, what can we throw here? Let's go with the slider. Good pitch. Got him. There we go. GG to my opponent. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I did cut out a big part of this. I'm going to cut out a big part of this video, probably from the time he pulled Newhauser um, on. And to this inning, um, nothing really happened. Um, and I want you guys to see how to hit out Newhauser. So I think the first part of this video 
will really help you guys out and um i am gonna add that first part with the custom leagues that's what i'm about to go do right now and just kind of explain to y'all really quick what the approach was for this game so like that y'all can have a better understanding going into the game um but full, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video um gonna be dropping more of these videos throughout the week uh Probably the next Inside the Mind video going to be maybe, what what is it today? Today's Tuesday, I believe. I think today's Tuesday. I might drop it maybe on the weekend or maybe next Monday. Maybe even Friday. Ooh, fuck. That's a way to wrap up the video right there. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.